Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working with an HP ProBook X360 11G5 laptop. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your CMOS battery, if you need to replace it, or if you're trying to reset BIOS. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access our bottom case screws. Now you have these three screws on the right of my screen, these three screws on the left of my screen, and this screw here in the middle. Once you get those screws out, we're going to flip the computer over to the palm rest, and you're going to take a small flat pry tool, and you're going to go across this seam between your palm rest and your bottom case, and pry the palm rest up from inside your bottom case. Now go nice and slow. Uh, be careful, don't put the pry tool too far in. You can damage some things, keep it on the edge. Be nice and firm. And if you get stuck in one part, leave it alone. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. Once you get your palm rest free, I found it easy to get up from the back here near the hinge assemblies. I found that easiest to get up. Once you get it free, don't just pull the palm rest right up and off. We have to unhook some ribbon cables first before we pull that palm rest off. As you can see here, this is the back end I was talking about. There's my hinge assembly. That's the back end of the computer. And this is my palm rest angled up a little bit so you can see inside. There's three ribbon cables still connected to the motherboard from the palm rest, the largest one here being your keyboard ribbon cable. Now we have to unplug these before we can remove the palm rest. In order to do that, these clips right here, these are very breakable guys, very fragile. Uh, the way these are designed is there's a black retainer clip that opens and shuts like a book cover. The open side where it opens is the ribbon cable side and it hinges right here in front of you right there. So the way to get these out is to use your fingernail or a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath that black retainer clip from this side, from the far side, pop it up gently, and then you can slide the ribbon cable out. And that goes for these as well. The reason why these are so fragile is because that black clip right there is very breakable. And if you break it, you most likely cannot find a replacement. They're very hard to find without buying another motherboard. And in which case your ribbon cable cannot securely fasten in there again. So again, be very careful with those. Once you get those ribbon cables up, however, you can remove your palm rest. And this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, as a general computer repair side note, guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static pad. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on it. If you guys need any help with tools and supplies, as well as any replacement parts for this specific model computer, there'll be a link above also below in the description that takes you to a list of all those tools, supplies, and parts, again, for this specific model computer. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I always either remove or unplug my battery. The battery in this computer cannot be unplugged without removing the battery. So in this case, I would remove the battery. So you have four screws near each of the white arrows next to each of the four corners. You remove those screws and the battery pulls out and unhooks from right here on the motherboard. Just be careful of these speaker wires because they run alongside the battery. Be careful not to pull those up when you're removing the battery. Now that the battery has been removed, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. Your CMOS battery is right here wrapped in black electrical tape. And you can see the black and red wires run along here and they plug into the motherboard right under there. That plug is similar to this plug. You'll see a grip on either side that you can use your fingernails or a pry tool to pull out. If you cannot get to it very well, it's okay to pull on the wire, but be very careful um, that you don't pull the wire out of the plug when you're pulling on it. If you need to physically replace this, as you can see, it's held down in there. You will have to pry this off a little bit to get that out. But again, be careful because if you break this, then the next one won't secure in there very well. Um, if that happens to you, if these clips break, you can use some double-sided tape to just make this adhere to that part of the computer. If you're here to manually reset BIOS, it's not necessary to physically remove the battery. You would just need to unplug it for 15, 20 seconds. That should be sufficient to reset your BIOS system. 
Now, just a point to shout out, if that is why you guys are here to reset BIOS, this most likely will not reset your BIOS password. It will only reset your BIOS system settings. So keep that in mind. This is not a BIOS password reset operation. I will try to have a CMOS battery replacement in that link I told you about earlier below in the description. If you guys are here because you're trying to fix a problem with your computer and this is one of the troubleshooting steps and it's not working, let me know below in the description. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on and I can try to help you guys out. But that is how you would access your CMOS battery in a ProBook 360 11 G5. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.